easiest but the most effective teaching style Hello and good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Teacher Mingo, your ESL friend, and welcome to the channel. <laughs> Usually, I make videos for ESL learners, but tonight I am going to make a video for ESL teachers. ESL meaning English as a second language. Today, we are going to talk about the easiest but the most effective teaching style or teaching pattern an ESL teacher could have. But take note, this is only perfect or very effective if your teaching material is a story with pictures, articles, or anything with a paragraph and a title and a picture. Yeah. Let's begin. Step one is to talk about the title or the picture. This is where we make the student feel comfortable with the topic. As a teacher, we should give out questions or make conversations about the given picture or title. Kind of like easing it up for the student. Step two, you let the student read. But as the student reads, we gotta mark or underline the words that are mispronounced. But here's the thing, we don't correct it right away. We wait for the student to finish reading. We don't wanna be rude, right? Step three, give out corrections for the mispronounced words. We have to make sure that the student pronounced all the words correctly in the passage. Step four is vocabulary. This is the longest step. Because first, we have to identify. We gotta pick the words that are kinda useful for the student. Step two is we define the word. Well, the teacher can define the word or the student can define the word. After defining the word, we make sentences with the vocabulary word. The teacher should give out a sample sentence and then the student. But remember, as a teacher, we make sure that the student gives out a correct sentence. If corrections are needed, go ahead, correct it. Step five is the comprehension questions. Give the student questions to answer. We need to make sure that the student knows or basically understands the topic. Now, I have a sample class right here and I hope it can help you out. Let's go. Hello, hello, and good evening, Miss Kate. Hello. Yes, how are you doing over there? Today, I was busy a little, but it's a nice, it was a nice day. Oh, that is great that you had a nice day. Anyways, um, today we're going to talk about something that you might not like. So um, let me ask you this. Is it okay if we talk about insects or bugs? Uh, oh, yes. Oh, you're not scared. Okay, that's great. So... <laughs> This is going to be our topic for the day. And wow. yeah, it's about an insect right here. Let's talk about the picture first. Um, are you familiar with this insect or not really? Not really. Oh, actually, I'm not familiar with this, with this insect too, but I think it's pretty in a way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's your opinion about it? Mm, a little. <laughs> it's a little pretty. I mean, I like the colors and stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, let's learn something about this bug right here. Um, I think this part could have been better. I think I should have given out more questions for the student to answer. I mean, it's about a bug. I could have asked her, um, when was the last time you've killed a bug? Or... Did you ever had a pet bug before? Stuff like that, just to make a longer conversation. So yeah, this part could have been better. Anyways, go ahead. I think we're ready to read. Let's go. The spotted lantern fly might look pretty, but the insect is causing big problems. Experts in the United States are saying we need to do away with the bug. Kill it, squash it, smash it, just get rid of it. That's what the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture says to do if you see one. 
the spotted lanternfly is like a moth. It is native to Asia. It is harmful to plants in the U.S. The bugs were found in Pennsylvania in 2014. Now, they have spread to at least nine states. Spotted lantern flies are not dangerous to people, but they hurt plants. They suck stuff from trees. They release a sticky substance after they feed. They cause this mold to grow on the plants. All right, thank you for reading, Miss Kate, but we kind of mispronounced some words here. Um, let's start with this word right here, harmful. Yeah. Harmful. Oh, no problem. And this <laughs> word is substance. Substance. Ah, that is perfect. Okay, now we got a few words here to talk about. Let yeah. me just highlight them for now. So we got get rid of and maybe native let's add harmful to that substance sap and yeah why not mold so the first word here to talk about or the first phrase here to talk about is get rid of well that's yeah. kind of easy right yes <laughs> if you if you try to get rid of something you throw it away or just kill it here's my mm. sentence um I want to get rid of my bad habits. There we go. What is your sentence? Um, recently, my class has tried a lot to get rid of cockroaches. I would like to get rid of that too. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I don't like cockroaches. Next, we got the word native. I think you know this word already, right? Yeah. Oh, of course you do. Mm, Want to go first with a sentence? Uh, mm, I heard that yeah. talking with natives is, is a good way to learn a foreign language. Oh, that is a perfect sentence. And my sentence, I guess, um, oh. I think Native Americans should be respected more. Mm. Yeah. Next, harmful. Of course, if something is harmful, that means it's uh, bad for you, right? Or it yeah. can hurt you. Yeah. Um, oh, I know, I know. Too much pizza is harmful for my body. <gasps> but I love pizza. I don't care. What's your sentence? <laughs> uh, I think harmful... Mm. Foods are usually delicious. That's what's bad about it. It's, it's right. really great, but it's not right. good for our bodies. <laughs> oh, terrible. Okay. Next, let's have the word sap right here. Could you give me the definition, please? Oh, it is something... Yep liquid from the plants like trees there we go perfect it's basically the liquid that they i don't know they produce inside of them oh i have a sentence sap is usually sticky <laughs> right <laughs> right i mean yeah your turn uh, maple syrup is made of a sap that's the lush <laughs> Yes, it is made from sap. Huh, another perfect sentence. Next, we got substance right here. Well, it's basically a specific type of matter, right? Yeah. You know yes. this from science. Okay. Yeah, right. I'm a scientist, and I'm going to play around with a, with a substance that can explode. Wow. Don't do that at home. <laughs> what is your sentence? <laughs> uh, I learned that all substances are made of electrons. Ooh, that is so scientific. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. And last word, of course, we got mold right there. I got an example here. You know that icky stuff that grows if you don't clean something? Ah, uh, right. Yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm sorry to say, but I found mold in our basement. <gasps> Yep, I know. I know what you're thinking. I gotta clean it. I know. <laughs> What's your sentence with mold? Uh, mm, mold. Mm -hmm. It's this are the same classification as mush mushrooms in the ecosystem. Another scientific sentence from you. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, I just have some easy questions for you here. Uh, let's see. First question. What kind of bug is this? Oh, it is the spotted lantern fly. All right, so this is the spotted lantern fly. And why do people from the United States want to get rid of it? Uh, because it is harmful to plants. Ha, perfect. They want to get rid of it because it is harmful to plants. Um, could you repeat that, please? Just let's make it a nice and complete sentence. Uh, can you tell me again? Oh, sorry, sure. Maybe I should type it. Um, People from the United States want to get rid of this of this insect because what was your answer again? Because it is harmful to plants. Oh that's right, because it is harmful to plants. There we go, nice and complete. Just for formality. Chat window, please. People from the United States want to get rid of this insect because it is harmful to plants. But one last question, though. Why is this little thing harmful to plants anyways? Uh, because they... they suck sap from trees and release a sticky substance after they feed and this causes mold to grow on plants. Ooh, I guess mold can kill plants. Yeah. Well, alrighty. Well, that is it for today, I guess. You did well as usual. Alright, and I think I have to go now. I'll see you yeah. soon. Yes. Alright. Bye-bye. Bye, Miss Kate. Yeah, bye. So that was the sample class. Let's do a little recap. For the easiest but the most effective teaching pattern or teaching style an ESL teacher could have. Step one, talk about the title or the picture. Step two, let the student read. Step three, give corrections for the mispronounced words. Step four, vocabulary words. First, we gotta identify, and then we gotta define, and then we gotta make sentences. And step five, which is the last step, is comprehension questions. All right, I hope that can help you guys out. And that is it for me. I am out. Peace.